Hello and welcome to my awesome health journey. Once again, I am Brett Dupree. This is my awesome health journey. I'm all tired because I just woke up. I look at my bed head. Look at my bed head. Look at my bed head. That's my look at my bed head. Rap. Booyah. I'm Brett Dupree and I'm here to say, look at my bed head in every way. Wave your hands. Anyway. So this is my weekly update. I forgot to do it yesterday because I had something on my mind and I forgot I did weekly updates on Saturday. Uh, this week was great. Honestly. Uh, it was a good week for my mental health. I felt really good about myself. Um, it's just good. Um, I think just moving in a positive direction, um, getting over being sick helps as well. This last week I was sick, and this week I'm not, which was good. I'm still uh, dealing with the remnants of being sick, if you will. Um, like, I'm still kind of snotty. And, um, sometimes have excess gas, you know, TMI, but it's not bad, right? Um, just feels like it's kind of lingering a little bit, but for the most part, I feel fine. My workouts, I did three workouts this week. All three were good. I hit one of my per, uh, PRs, um, which was in, um, distance up 191 feet, which... I guess is good, but, um, I don't know, <laughs> maybe one day I'll hit 200, uh, yeah, um, that was fun, the, yeah, the workouts are great, um, someone gave me a nice gift, which was nice, I played board games with my friend Carrie yesterday, and that was super fun, it was, we had lots of laughs and stuff, and I learned that my friend Carrie does an amazing Mickey Mouse impression. Um, yeah, uh, oh yeah, and of course the weigh-in was, uh, on Tuesday, that just set my week amazing, I mean, it's just, setting a goal and knowing that you're reaching it is awesome, um, I know my weight loss, I've talked about it on here, has been frustrating, but I know weight is just a number, and one thing about using the, you know, the electric machine that measures body fat really does show like the differences in weight and body composition because I know I've been losing fat since I've started um, Orange Theory at the very least, um, building muscle and losing fat. And I'm sure that's one reason why the scale just did not move for like six months of being like 470 to 470 something. And that was frustrating. It was fucking frustrating. I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. I've, I've never in my life uh, looked at what, you know, eight decent worked out and not lose weight. Um, but again, weight is just a number and it doesn't tell you what you're ha what's happening to your body. And I know I was, even though I was still 474, I know I was losing fat off my body because, you know, th certain things like my stomach wasn't touching my steering wheel anymore, right? So... You know, I meant I was getting smaller. My, my, uh, I had those 60 shorts, 60 inch, uh, shorts I was wearing all the time. And I could just tell they're, um, more and more falling off. The shirts I was wearing had a better fit, you know, the weight wasn't changing. So I know I was losing it, but now I, um, now number one, seeing the scale go down this year, like last year, I was just 474 the practically the entire year, ever since I weighed myself. Um, this year I started at about 470 something and now I'm down to 438 on one scale and that feels great. That's a decent amount of weight. And since starting Ozempic, I know that I'm down at least just around a pound a week, which is healthy and sustainable according to everything I read. And that's great. And if I can keep that up for a year, that'd be like, you know, 48 pounds, 48, 50 pounds off a of fat just off my body which would be excellent and get closer to the goal to having a um, good amount of fat where I can, you know, fit in chairs and just move and feel more comfortable and stuff, you know. But, um, but you know, that was great because, you know, I'm setting a goal. I wanted to be healthy. I wanted everything to look good. And just seeing it there just felt so great, especially with the less than one pound of uh, muscle loss, which was Amazing, because when you lose weight, you generally lose some fat and you lose some muscle mass and organ mass and 
a lot of other things, right? It's, it's one reason why losing weight is generally bad for your body. Um, because you just, it, you're cannibalizing yourself. I mean, that's what it is. And generally speaking, it's not great. It's one reason why your body generally fights it so much. Because it doesn't want to lose weight. And a lot of diseases you get and, like, you know, problems with your body, cancers, you have sudden weight loss. Which is bad. Um, it's one of our problems with our society. That we put too much emphasis on weight. Um, which I do I do 100% believe. Because, you know, a lot of people are sick and don't know they're sick. And just everyone's like... Or people know they're sick and everyone's like, Oh man, you look great. What's your secret? Well, I got cancer. You know, or I'm depressed and I don't eat. You know, it's, it's sad that... Uh, like heard stories of people like that and that's too bad but at the same time i'm specifically going for this goal i'm trying to do it in the healthiest way possible getting the nutrition i need and how it's just it's working out so far and that, it, that just feels great there's something about setting a goal and reaching it that just feels good and especially when i know it's healthy i think that also reduces chances of self-sabotage because like I do remember once when I was uh, keto fasting and I saw the scale and it was 330 something and I was expecting at best like 340 something or like high 340s, 350 and I saw 12 pound weight loss. I think that just sent a signal to my brain of weight. That is 10 pounds gone uh, way too fast, um, especially as you are losing weight. What's going on? Is this healthy? But this feels healthy and I'm feeling better and better which I think is the important part so yeah so that's my weekly update feeling good bedhead maybe I'll just that's the name of this this one feeling good bedhead anyways love you for who you are have an amazing day